All right, guys, it is the long weekend in May. Yay! So for us Canadians, we get it a week before you Americans do. <laughs> but nevertheless, we are finally ready to go camping. As you can tell by all the stuff packed in the back seat, this is trip number one of many. So stay tuned. So we are just getting into the campground and already I see some friends slash customers. Hi, Pastor. I don't remember the uh, Mercedes C-Class that I sold a little while ago that traded in on the Nissan Rogue. There's the Nissan Rogue. So let's get down to our camper and uh, get things unpacked. Unpack my bag. And at least relax for a little while because, well, tomorrow is flooring day. Not much relaxing going on tomorrow. Thank goodness there's three days to this weekend. So we finally got everything unpacked and mostly put away and it's supper time. So we've got burgers on the barbecue. Mm, that's a good burger. Fried onions in the frying pan. Yummy. And a little refreshment. That's an adult beverage right there. It's time to sit down, relax, and enjoy the weekend. So guys, it is Friday night and we are back at my house because I had a fellow reach out to me on my Facebook page, Old Car Auto Guy Facebook page. If you're not following that, please head over there. Do it, do it now. He met me at the Bangor Car Show last summer, back in September. And he's got his old Chrysler Cordoba, and he lives in Moncton, which is about two hours and two hours and a half away from here. And he's broke down only about 20 minutes outside of town. It says it's all interquit charging. So he said, you're the only one that I know or remembered from this area that I could reach out to. So he asked me if there's anything that I could do to help. And I said, well, everything is closed here in St. Stephen for the long weekend, but I'd be willing to go home take the alternator off of my car and run it down to him. No, you didn't. Why would I do such a thing? I'd barely know the guy. Well, that's what car guys do. Uh, he's in a situation, I'm in a position to help him out. So I came home and before I took mine apart, I took a picture of it, sent it to him, asked him if it was the same alternator. Unfortunately, he said no. Dang it. Mine is too big. I've got the 90 amp, he only needs the 60 amp or whatever. And uh, so what I'm gonna do, is I went inside, I logged onto my CarQuest account to see if the local CarQuest had what he needed in stock. They did. I then reached out to my buddy Justin. Justin Bieber too. See if he could do me a solid, open up the store, grab the alternator so that I can take this up to buddy and get him uh, on his way. So that's what's gonna happen. Justin is more than happy. Well, he might not be more than happy, but he's gonna do it anyway to uh, give me a hand uh, in getting this alternator and uh, we'll run it down to uh, St. George and get this guy going for the weekend. So, like I said, you guys are gonna follow along and this is just what we do when we know that somebody else in the car community is down and out or in trouble. We step up and we give them a hand. So, let's go see if we can get him going. And as luck would have it, we forgot to grab the memory topper for the bed at the trailer. So, I had to come home anyway. Everything worked out. So guys, we made it to St. George and we've got David here with his 77? Six. 76 Cordoba. And the alternator is on the car. And we've got it charging right now a little bit before we started up. And we got my wife's little beater. Uh, hopefully that uh, is gonna come to the rescue. So if you guys don't recall back when we did the uh, wheels on the waterfront in Bangor 2018 video, I did show this car on the video and uh, that's where he remembered me from. Was from that car show because he saw me pulling in my Cordoba. And uh, so when he came to this area, he figured 
I was the guy to call and luckily for him, we were able to get them fixed up. Dave is behind us, and I'm gonna try and get some uh, pictures of him coming by here. So guys, we're back here in the camper and I just wanted to give you guys a final look at what this flooring looked like. I'm pretty impressed. This is the very first time I've laid vinyl flooring. So take a look and tell me in the comment section below what you think. So it is the same cut as we come in the door here in both sides of the bed over here and over here. And then as we come up right through the center, we do have a seam that goes right along there. And we are gonna put a strip of metal like a, what, I forget what they call it, like a transom strip or whatever they call that. And we're gonna go right straight up through the middle here. And there, Sadie. And all we've got to do to finish it off is just put some trim pieces around the edging of the walls and such. That way it cleans up my imperfect cuts. Besides, my wife told me I had to. Well guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Old Car Auto Guy. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more related to everything that it is that we do behind the scenes at the uh, car lot, as well as maybe a few personal things, some hot rodding things, maybe even shenanigans. Evil shenanigans. Hit that subscribe button because we have all of that to offer on this channel. And as we drive home, I want you to know that this video is brought to you by Sussex Beard Oil. And if you go to the link above, you can get your very own free sample size of Sussex Beard Oil when you purchase any regular size. All you gotta do is put both items in your cart, enter in the promo code GloveBox, and that travel size beard oil will become free. So guys, thanks so much again for watching, and thank you for tuning in as we continue to grow this channel. Don't forget, we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so that I can share with you the demise of Bubbles. And if you don't know what or who Bubbles is, I'm gonna put a link right up here in the cards so that you can go back and find out what Bubbles is really all about. Trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Also guys, still looking for license plates? If you guys have any spare license plates kicking around from your state, province, from wherever you are around the world, my addresses are in the description box down below. And if you'd care to send them to me, I'd love to take them off your hands. We're trying to finish up Project Wall Art and I need some license plates to do that. So I hope that you guys will take the time, if you have them, to send them my way. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Thanks for tuning in.